You know, everything around us has a shape. People, trees, entire galaxies. But what if I told you that so many of those shapes, from the absolutely massive to the microscopic, all lead back to the exact same geometric pattern? It's a symbol that's been carved into ancient stone, rediscovered by civilizations all over the world, and honestly, it's still widely misunderstood. So today, we're going to dive into the real story of the flower of life. So what is this thing, really? Is it some kind of key to ancient mystical knowledge? A, a cosmic blueprint for reality itself? Or is it something way more fundamental? A pattern that just shows up because of the simple, undeniable logic of math? That's the big question we're going to unpack right now. I bet you've seen this pattern somewhere before. It shows up everywhere, on the walls of Egyptian temples, in the stained glass of medieval cathedrals. Some people call it sacred, others call it mystical. But here's the thing you gotta remember. Before anyone decided it meant anything, it was just geometry. And that's where the real story starts. Okay, let's get into how this actually works. To understand the whole mystery, first we have to see how this seemingly complex pattern is made. And you're about to find out, it is surprisingly simple. It all begins with the most basic shape there is, a circle. Then you draw another circle the exact same size, but you put its center right on the edge of the first one. That's it. That is the one and only rule. You just keep repeating that simple step, and without any secret knowledge or special intention, this intricate, beautiful, flower-like pattern just emerges all on its own. Now, this structure, it has a name. Mathematicians call it hexagonal symmetry. And this isn't just some abstract idea, you know? It actually describes one of the most stable and efficient ways to pack things together, a principle we see playing out all through the natural world. Okay, so wait a minute. If it's that simple to create, could that be the reason it just popped up all over the world in cultures that had absolutely no contact with each other? Well, let's take a look. We're talking about the exact same pattern found etched into stone in ancient Egypt, woven into the incredible geometric art of the Islamic world, and built right into the architecture of European cathedrals. For a long, long time, people saw this as proof. It had to be some ancient shared knowledge, but the reality is actually so much more elegant. Here's the real reason it's everywhere. The pattern wasn't a secret that got passed down. It's an inevitable discovery. Seriously, anyone in any culture at any point in history who just starts playing around with geometry using a compass and a straight edge is going to find this exact shape. It doesn't need to be taught. It just emerges from the rules of math itself. But here's where it gets really mind-blowing. This isn't just a human story. It turns out that nature discovered this geometric principle long, long before we ever did. That same hexagonal symmetry, it's the structure of a honeycomb, which gives it the most strength for the least amount of material. It's right there in the perfect, six-sided beauty of a snowflake. It's even in the way atoms arrange themselves to form crystal lattices. This pattern is literally one of nature's fundamental building blocks. And why? Well, because nature is ruthlessly efficient. It doesn't waste energy. This structure gives incredible stability and order, whether you're a bee building a home or a molecule forming a solid. It's not symbolic. It's just really, really good design, all dictated by the laws of physics. Okay, so we've got this mathematical pattern that shows up in human art and in nature. So where did all the meaning, the sacredness, the mysticism, where did all of that come from? Well, this is where we humans finally enter the story. See, our brains are just wired for this stuff. We are relentless pattern-seeking machines. When we see something with perfect symmetry and balance and repetition, we don't just see a shape. Our brains instinctively go, whoa, what does this mean? We just can't help ourselves. We have to look for a deeper significance. And this really gets at the two different worlds that are at play here. On one side, you have the geometry. It's objective, it emerges from simple rules, and it's totally predictable. But on the other side, you've got the meaning, and that is subjective. It's assigned by us, humans, and it's open to all kinds of interpretation. So here's the big takeaway from all this. The geometric pattern itself doesn't actually hold any meaning. It's not whispering the secrets of the universe to us. We're the ones who look at its perfection and decide to give it a story, to load it up with all this significance. And you can totally see why we do it, right? I mean, think about the universe. Real, actual, straight lines are pretty rare. Rivers curve, storms rotate, planets orbit, galaxies spiral out. Nature loves curved paths because they are efficient and they are stable. And this pattern, with all its interlocking curves, is just a beautiful reflection of that fundamental truth. 
And this right here, this is the key distinction. The flower of life is a powerful description of how order can emerge from simple rules. It's a mirror reflecting the rules of reality, but it is not the source of those rules. So this brings us full circle, right back to our original question and to our final revelation. We've seen the math, we've seen the human need for meaning. So what's the final answer here? After looking at all of this, where do we land? Is it one or the other? Is it just cold, hard mathematical fact? Or is it this deep spiritual symbol? The answer is, it's both. And understanding that is everything. The mathematics is the objective reality. It's a predictable geometric outcome. The mysticism, well, that's the beautiful subjective story that we humans have layered right on top of it. One is a fact of geometry. The other is a fact of human psychology. In the end, the flower of life doesn't really unlock the hidden secrets of existence. What it unlocks is a profound insight into us. It's the perfect case study of our powerful, innate, and deeply human need to take a raw structure and transform it into a meaningful story. The pattern isn't some cosmic blueprint. It's just a beautiful shape that shows up when you follow a simple rule. And it's a powerful reminder that meaning isn't something we discover hidden out there in the world. It's something we create. It's something we add long after the pattern was already there. Thanks for watching. Reality X Decoded isn't official teaching. We simply explore and aim to stay as accurate as possible. If anything seems off or you have questions, comment below and let us know what to decode next. Don't forget to subscribe.